couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome finger style improvisation lesson right here on Lickin' and Riff. And in this video, for lack of a better name, I'll teach you what I call strange rhythmic harmonies. It's nothing fancy, it's just a really, really cool exercise. And it's uh, self-challenging because the idea here is to come up with the strangest rhythms you can find. And um, I'm using strange harmonies as well, stuff like this. Now, what I did here was this. I play the block chord using my three fingers, and I play a different rhythm using my thumb on the sixth string. Now, the chord I'm using for starters uh, is five, four, and seven on strings two, three, and four. Now, this is a nice chord. And uh, with uh, the open sixth string, it sounds nice. The idea here is to use the thumb and the block chord, the bass and the chord, as opposing rhythmic sections, if you will. If you play one bass note, then play more chords. If you're playing more than one bass note, play less chords and try to complement them as well as move the chord around to come up with different ideas. Bass chord, bass two chords, three bass notes, one chord, three bass notes, three chords. You can also arpeggiate it. Okay, but keep moving it around and try to create strange harmony. The main exercise is to move the chord around and create something strange, okay, on purpose, okay? More bass notes, less chords, more chords, less bass notes. what I'm doing here I'm just moving the chord around and trying to create um, to create something asymmetrical something that doesn't have any rhythmic symmetry okay uh, I'm not paying attention to the beat I'm not paying attention to bars I'm not paying attention to how many notes I'm playing I'm just trying to have my chord and my bass note compete okay vie for attention it's as if they're constantly fighting to you know for the audience's attention or for the player's attention. Um, it's really strange to explain it and this is why I call it strange rhythmic harmonies. You can choose any chord you like. You can take... Um, as long as you're moving the same chord around. Okay, and um, now I barred a uh, I borrowed a fret and I played the upper fret on the second string and then I played an open A string and then barred again. Okay, the stranger the better. And the benefit of this exercise is that you get more freedom and once you actually get something cool out of it, you feel so good because this is difficult. It's, uh, it's difficult to get out of your comfort zone and play something that's completely out of metronomic time, completely out of, uh, you know, of uh, structure, completely out of structure. Just finding something that that sounds strange on purpose. And then, if you like, you can add the open E string. Okay, 
AC. Now, obviously there is a sort of a structure, but that's because I've been playing this too long. I've been giving you examples all along and now I've been focusing on the E string. So I have come up with a structure and that's against my own exercise. So strange as it is, it's one of the best exercises available because again, it gets you out of the normal structure that you're used to most of the time. You're either used to playing 4-4 rhythm or 3-4 rhythm or 6-8 rhythm. You're not used to trying to create free, you know, free structure without a true sense of a bar and a beat. And that's the best I can do to explain it. The music speaks better than words in this case. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again in the next lesson with more improvisation exercises. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.